Hey guys, welcome to James Cornerstone Rants. I just wanted to make this video about blood on the dance floor. I just want to, before the video actually starts and I start actually going through the emails of these people, I just want to clarify exactly what I'm doing here. The reason I made this video is because I'm pissed off with blood on the dance floor fans. Not all of them, and I'm going to state this. If you watch this and you like Blood on Dance Floor, I'm not saying all of you guys. I'm just saying there's a massive, massive majority of you Blood on Dance Floor fans that are bandwagon jumpers. And I'm even sure that there's Blood on the Dance Floor fans who can agree with me here. And it, it, it's not, it doesn't do the band's image any good or the group's image any good or their fan base any good. These bandwagon jumpers who basically claim that they've been persecuted when, or basically claim that they've been fucked up as a child by their parents. Now, I'm, I'm saying a majority of these kids do this because they want to fit in, they want to jump on this bandwagon that they've been hated on and they've been abused and they're outcasts and in all fairness, it pisses me off just looking at half of the, half of the comments on it. And the only reason I'm bringing it up is because of this. So I'm not taking a pop at all of you Blood on the Dance Floor fans here, but I'm going to let rip in this video on my feelings on it. And I just want to make clear before I start this video, because I'll probably antagonise a couple of people on this video. It's not my intention. My intention are there are actually real people out there who are getting bullied, and unfortunately a lot of the Blood on the Dance Floor fans are bandwagon jumpers. And if you look at most other groups, like any heavy metal groups or any other, uh, maybe other scene groups or maybe rap, you rap artists. When you go down there and you scroll down the videos of their, these artists, you will not see any other group of fans who will sit there, and 80% of them will say that this this art this rap artist saved my life, this band saved my life. You will only see this on a Blood on the Dance Floor song. Any, go on any Blood and Dance Floor song, you will see this. You will see the band saved my life. The, I'm an outcast, blah, blah, blah. This is the only fucking group, uh, band, I've ever fucking seen it on. And it takes away from proper people who are actually getting bullied, in my opinion. I, don't, I despise bandwagon jumpers who do this. And they're exploiting. They're exploiting people who actually do have real problems. Suicidal problems. And this is why I'm making the video. So bear that in mind before you watch this. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome to Piffle Shit Central where I will be exposing BOTDF Blood on the Dance Floor's new Piffle Shit song and it is Piffle Shit, it's grade A Piffle Shit of the highest proportion and order. I'm going to leave the link down below if you want to torture yourself, if you feel like vomiting or you, I don't know, feel like um, ending it all. <laughs> hey, but BOTDF are all against that shit. Look, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, this song has got a... What all they've done is they took all, all the all like the electronics out of it and they're just doing an acoustic song. The lyrics are shit, the song shit, everything about it is shit. It's all the same bullshit that you've heard in every other BOTDF song, talking about please don't judge me and just be strong and it doesn't make a difference if you're different, just just be who you be and all this. It's such a fucking pile of piffle shit. Anyway. I'll leave the link down below, you can make up your own mind, I'm not even going to go on the song, I'm just going to go on some of the fucking stupid dumbass comments I've seen since the last two days. I was told about it by someone, one of my friends on Facebook, uh, I'm not giving her name out because I don't want to draw hate towards her channel. If you want to direct any hate, please draw it towards me because I'm open for that shit, that I couldn't give a fuck, okay? Now, I'm going to read some of the lyrics by some of these BOTDF fan fucktards, and they are fan fucktards. They're not in any specific order. They're literally just what I see in front of me. I'm going to pick them at random because there's so many of them. You see what I'm talking about here? It's fucked up. It's real fucked up. Don't listen to BOTDF unless you've got a fucking puke bucket handy, okay? Okay. They are so amazing. Plain and simple. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wish I had this song last year, but at least I survived to hear it. <laughs> what is it with all you BOTDF fans that you... Every single one of you guys have had such a troubled fucking life. I mean, 99% of the comments are exactly the fucking same. I've had a troubled life. I wouldn't be here without BOTDS songs. It, they can sing a song, like you just said. They can sing a song about absolutely anything. They can sit there, play an acoustic guitar, play two chords back to back, which basically this song is. 
Just talk absolute fucking drivel, stick up the lyrics for all you fantasts to live and learn and oh my god you've just saved my life, this will do me for the next two years of my life. I'll go fuck off with that shit man. Total bullshit, this is what's wrong with the teenagers who listen to this kind of fucking music. You know, they, they, it's not about fitting in, it really isn't, it's just about being part of a little group, a little clan. It's a load of bollocks, you don't want to be unique. It's nothing to, nothing to do with being unique with you guys. You just want to, you want to fucking talk shit to people. You can't take any kind of fucking criticism that comes your way. You just sit there and talk piffle shit all day. Sorry if I'm pissed off, but this is how I feel with this fucking lot. I love this song. It has saved my life. It'd be mean and cruel, I happy. I found blood on the dance floor. I love Darvi and Jay. <laughs> they, may, they, may, they may not know it, but they help me. And also, just a little side note. I'm not even picking the... These are getting picked at random. I'm literally just... There's one out of every three that's saying they saved my life. You've saved a lot of fucking lives, haven't you? Go on Megadeth. Why is it all Megadeth fans or all Pantera fans? You don't see those kind of comments. One second. Uh, I'm just going to end this. Hello? Can I ring you back in a few minutes? I'm just making a video. Bye, bye. Alright, bye. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let's get on with this. Um, if I never have found this band, then I just like everyone else, plain and boring in some cases. <laughs> Showing friends this Jay's part comes. That's just fucking total gibberish talking again. My dad doesn't trust me because I'm an outcast. <laughs> So he's hard on me. Oh yeah, oh, did them so poor, poor baby. He doesn't understand the bullying I went through and the emotional issues I have. But I stand strong and I'm glad to know I have people like B-O-T-D-F on my side. Three, three. Fucking hell, man. There's proper people out there that's getting bullied. I mean, I don't understand why every fucking B-O-T-D-F fan has to sit here and talk through their ass cheeks. It really pisses me off. So fucking beautiful. So to everyone who has brought me down, your words don't hurt me. I remain strong. If you remain strong, you wouldn't have to fucking leave stupid ass comments all the time. I just wrote a letter to my mother about how I feel about the way she treats me because of whom I am and what I wear. <coughs> Bullshit. And I used some of the lyrics from this song. Thank you, Darby and Jay. So much you guys helped me realize that it's okay to be different and that I should embrace it. I tell you what, embrace my ass, and I'll fart in your face, you little fucktard, yeah? Bloody hell. I don't know, it's so fucked up, they don't understand anything. <laughs> this is total bullshit. Every single comment is the fucking same. Thank you, Darby, thank you, Jay. You two have helped me realize it's okay. I love you so much. Anyone, who's, anyone who says music can't change lives, well, you don't know how wrong you are. I love Blood on the Dance Floor more than anything. Yes, they have perverted songs, that's okay. They also have songs like this that have probably saved countless people, including me. Oh, she the violins out for you. <laughs> to each have half of my heart. Jesus fucking Christ, this is ridiculous. I want to download this on my MP3 and go sit in a dark closet and cry tears of pain, joy, love, a broken heart and so, so much more. I love this song so much. I'm not joking. These comments are actually on this fucking video. Links down below. Check this shit out for yourself. This is just the comments that have been posted in the last fucking 12 hours. This is truly tragic. I actually feel bad. Actually, I don't feel bad for these pricks. Exactly. My mum thinks I'm goth because I listen to music like this. But that's when she does... That's when she, this guy can't even speak, but that's when she does pay attention to me. <laughs> oh my fucking days. And it goes on and on and on. Okay, let's go on to the next page. Lovely, it's hard to find the words and describe love and beauty when it's so pure, but I found something close enough. I love you guys and I hope you never stop making music and saving lives, including mine. This is another comment. They save a lot of lives. Wow, man, these kids really must have had a hard, tough fucking, sh a hard, tough life. You should see the music video for this. It's a, it's a music video for this. Wow, I didn't know there's a music video for this. I don't want to see it though. To all the motherfucking haters who talked about me, laughed at me, joked about me behind my back, fuck you! I don't want to be like you. So inspiring. Yeah, so inspiring. Just 
to plaster the same lyrics over every single song that they've ever made just to rope in gullible teenagers to make money. They're using you, don't you understand that? They're using every single one of their fucking fans. Oh, another one, my life right now. Ah, oh. Everything about this song describes me perfectly. I burst, there's another one, I burst into tears knowing that this is my life exactly. You see, they're, they're so en route with their fans, they, they know exactly how to get to them. Do you see what, you see? Do you see there's a message here? Shame these cunts can't read it. You know a song is good when you start crying. <laughs> I'm crying too. I'm crying with fucking pain here, man. This is why I love Darby and Jay. They make their whole SGTC happy with songs that relate and help their own lives. This is why I'm part of the SGTC so far. I've been taught not to give a single fuck about haters and it's okay to be myself. I love you guys. SGTC till I die. Ooh. And what the fuck is it with these faces that all these, these sinkers make? They go, Ooh, like they've got, it's okay if you've had a stroke. But you ain't had a fucking stroke, have you? Like that. Oh, do the, do the fucking do 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 sign. Oh my days. Okay, we're on page five now. <clears throat> I cried. This is just so beautiful. The best thing they've created in like ages. My current situation. I love this song. B O T D F is a great band. Nobody can put us down because what kind of music we like. We are people, and don't judge us. Okay, don't judge us by any cover. SGTC will rise and nothing will stop us. SGTC forever. <laughs> this is fucking priceless. I love this song and all their songs. Don't listen to what other people say. This song is great. Just be unique. I love this song. <sighs> I really better ring my dad back in a minute because this is fucked up. This song is different. It's just like me and I love it. Fuck all the haters! <laughs> this reminds me when I was picked on. Oh, here we go, here's another one. Fucking it is. Oh, every blood on the dance floor, fucking fan title has been picked on. This reminds me of when I was picked on. My whole. This song reminds me I'm different. I'm bipolar. And 18. I think you are. <clears throat> you're something anyway because you can't fucking spell. So people need to stop being bullies and be nice. It hurts when you're judged can't spell, your judge and being called retarded and stupid so change, make a nice place for outcasts like us and stop hating. I tell you what, learn to fucking spell first year. Maybe if you learn to spell, maybe, uh, I'll shut up, I'll shut up. This song made me cry. Wish I could sing this to my parents. Thank you BOTDF for letting me know it's okay. How about you actually learn it's okay for yourself? Get a little bit of self-esteem underneath your belt and stop fucking relying on stupid asshole wank bands that are trying to con kids out of money and talking shit. Do it yourself. You know what I mean? It's just total fucking bullshit. I can understand maybe one or two people, but every fucking page, I've gone down every page here and there's like 50 comments on each page saying the same thing. They saved my life. They saved my life. Watch a Megadeth video. Go on any Megadeth video you want and tell me if there's one single person that says you saved my life. Do you know why? Because their band doesn't fucking preach bullshit like that to them all the time. You were in it for the fucking music, not in it for the shitty lyrics so you can be part of a clan. It's a load of bollocks. Wake up. It's shit. Total bollocks. When I'm sad, your music makes me smile. When I'm happy, your music makes me smile more. Thank you, Davy and Jay. Thank you very much. SGTC till I die. I'm not reading any more of these because these are... Actually, I'll read a couple more. Why not? The camera's still rowing anyway. Listening to this at school, I'm that amazing. Yes, you are. You're in school with your little other scene kids being amazing. B-O-T-T-F rule, yeah. This is a great, epic, awesome, beautiful, words can't explain in big caps. Love this song and it will forever be with me. I'm going to be singing this song till I'm dead. Thank you guys for another memory. <laughs> Why? Why are you torturing me? I like this song, but if you listen to this song and hell on heels and some of their other new songs and compare it to some of their old songs like Texan or Candyland, you would be surprised, yes. I would be surprised. <sighs> Page nine, and they just keep coming. 
Davey said on his Twitter that he's looking, he's locking himself in the studio after this tour. Please let that happen, please, I'm begging you. He also said that they're making more of their old stuff. Everybody calm your tits. They said their next album was going to be similar to Epic Epic. You remember what the album was like, lol. So don't go so butthurt over their new music. Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot yourself. Please shoot yourself. This song relates to me. I don't know why I thought about killing myself, but hey, I've listened to BOTD music and it's wonderful, it's beautiful, it's amazing. I can't take any more of this shit. I'm going to end this video now before I fucking kill myself. Okay, so guys, so that's the kind of shit you'll hear on any BO... Go on any BOTDF video and you'll see the same comments down, every single one of them. Um... Check out the song down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think it's an amazing piece of work. Is it on the same level as great artists like the Beatles? I doubt it ever will be. And to all you BOTDF fans, keep enjoying, keep enjoying the music and keep on going against the haters because we don't know nothing. We're all haters. We all hate you. And go fuck your mothers. Okay, peace out, guys.